so the initial volley came in. It was definitely, it felt like multiple RPGs, like they were just raining down on us. I remember it seemed like at one point there was just so many coming in, just one after the other, that I remember thinking like, all right, you know, I get it, you, you want to kill us, but some of us are still here and you're just, you're not getting to me, but it's really pissing me off. Like it was just overwhelming, like couldn't think and it's just one explosion after another. Then it just seemed like it lasted forever and it kind of took me a minute to gain my bearings. I ended up in the northern fighting position and had suffered wounds to, mostly to my right leg, but I had taken some to my left and I think my left arm as well. I was sitting there, I could see the wounds in my legs and I wanted to stand up and, and move around and start getting involved in the fight, but I, I couldn't move my feet. I remember looking at my feet and trying to like will myself to move my feet, being like, come on, Ryan, you can move your feet, and I couldn't. After that point, I crawled to the southern position because I had seen a wound on, the, on my inner thigh and I had concerns that it could have struck like a major blood vessel and so I wanted to try and get a tourniquet on my leg but I couldn't exactly do it with, with my injuries. So I crawled to the lower southern position that we considered we designated as our casualty collection point and when I got there, Sar Gobble was in there, he was kind of disoriented, he had been wounded and Specialist Bogar at the time had been returning fire, was laying down fire to kind of the southeast I told him I wanted a tourniquet on my right leg. He helped put the tourniquet on my right leg and then he went back to fighting. And then at that time, Special Stafford, who had been wounded, crawled into the southern position and started giving me a, a disposition on what was going on elsewhere. The gunner was willing and Matt Phillips had been killed and said at that point that he thought that they had been throwing hand grenades. My line of thinking at that point was if they can throw hand grenades, so can we. So I crawled to the northern position where we had kept the hand grenades and I proceeded to throw hand grenades into the dead space to the north, knowing that it wasn't a terribly far distance. And so I cooked the grenades off for three to four seconds, essentially letting the fuse run so that they wouldn't have time to pick it up and throw it back into our position.